Dang, we could go. Road trip! We could what is going on, guys? I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video, but I got some special news. I'm going on a road trip to DreamCon. Now, if you watch anime, you probably know who RDC World 1 is. If you know who RDC World 1 is, then you know what DreamCon is. So, yeah, it's gonna be in Texas. We leave today, me and my best friend. We're taking a road trip there. It's just gonna be the two of us. There was originally gonna be like six people, but things happened and we were the last ones committed to going. So, we leave today, but first I gotta freaking take a final at school on one campus. And then I gotta drop off a quiz that I did overnight at, at, at the other campus, but the other campus is actually on the way to get there, to get to get to where we need to go. So, yeah, I'm already dressed up. I've already done my morning routine. You guys have seen my morning routine a couple times, but something different I want to show you is how I is how I do my hair. So, let's do that for a little bit. I know it's been a year and I still have the same one, but look how much is left compared to, to last year. be perfect due to the humidity in South Florida like it'll puff enough if that's a word let me show you guys my package okay guys so this is my this is one bag that I have some small stuff in uh, another bigger bag to put other stuff in and then this is my suitcase with my jackets uh, boxers and some shirts slides are right here my laptops right there my cameras in this bag and the tripod of course now and here we have the kitchen I got some chips some zebra cakes honey buns and stuff the water and in here we have the sandwich chips we didn't need a big pool for that so yeah, I'm supposed to be waiting for my friend because he's coming over to pick up my stuff so that way I don't have to pack the stuff in the car when I get back. Um, you guys know him. He shot my he shot my little Tay video, so he has credits there. What's up? Stop. Yeah, I gotta roast you. <laughs> yeah, you parked in my spot too. The apartment spot. Okay, so I guess it's time to load the. That's not the car we're taking. It's this car. It's not. <laughs> but it's time to load it in. Do you already have your stuff in there? No. I gotta put my stuff in the car that we're not taking. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Alright, let's. Yeah, my stuff in my friend's trunk 
of his car. He's gonna go get the rental. He's actually gonna drop me off at school so he can pick me up in the rental and then we head from there. But I still gotta stop at the other campus. So he's picking me up from school. Hey man, thanks for taking me to school. No problem. Hold on, now you're making it seem like I did it for you. <laughs> This is for the trip. He's making, he's making, he's not making a big deal, but he's saying, why am I taking my car keys with me? I really don't see the point. I told him because I don't trust the people in my house, and like he can't, he just can't accept that. Like I said, you can hide it. Wait, you should have gone that way. Oh wow, way to say something now. I, I meant to ask it earlier. Like, how did you get to school last time you were at my house? When did I go directly to school from the house? When I dropped off the money for the rental. Oh, yeah, I went this way. No. You take Southern, make a left. It's a highway. It's kind of like a highway. So you'll get to 95, and then you exit on 6th half, right? Yeah. Okay. So check it. So my point is this. If you take your keys with you, and lose your keys at Texas, I find that more as a bigger problem than you leaving your keys and then finding it. You're right, I should probably leave it so that way my mom could at least move my car to a safer, sp safer space. Yeah, let's say we gotta, well, That's I why I asked you if I should move it before we left. Yeah, you know, I don't, moving the car, I don't know. Like, I'm gonna put my car somewhere in the spot of the house where it shouldn't need to be moved and it's perfectly fine. And yeah, it should be like the first car pulled up in the driveway. No. The second. Oh, the first car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first. Yeah. yeah. Took you a while, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then that way I'm not blocking no one or anything, whatever. Yeah. And yeah, pretty much that's it. And no reason for them to know where I hit the key. But I want the key to still be there because if there happens, if something was to happen to my mom or my dad, cars, you know, I'm not there to help them. So the best I can do is say, hey, here's my car. You yeah, by the way, my mom gave us, we didn't pack plastic bags that we can have for trash. You got plastic like Walmart bags at home? plastic bags at home. Okay. Yeah. And. Yeah, my mom gave us some other kinds of bags that we could put the dirty clothes in. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Nice what, you don't do that when you go out? Um, when you travel like this? Uh, I don't think I do that. I just so you put them to another, I just separate them by the time it's time to pack. But they're still in the same, so where do you put your dirty clothes when, when you pack to leave? Whatever bin or whatever's there. Or the clean clothes come out the basket and the dirty clothes will go back in the basket. You know what I mean? Because everything comes out. No, the way I see it. And whatever's used goes back in first. So you put in your dirty clothes in first and then on top put your clothes that you haven't used? Yeah, pretty much. That seems unsanitary. Because your dirty clothes is in cross contamination you with your at clean the end clothes. Of the day, when you come home, you're, you're more likely gonna have to do laundry anyways. I still have laundry to do when I come back. I do laundry anyway. I have a because I'm not taking my laundry basket anyway, so I come back and I like to do laundry. And it's best to do it that way because I gotta know the difference of what's clean and what's not anyway. We're talking about like when we go out on um, road trip, like not road trip, but we're oh, trips. out when we're traveling on yeah, trips. Yeah. I'm I'm really like my my mouth is drooling to know what is this this mode. <laughs> okay. I so I got done with my exam. I'm pretty sure I did good on it. Like you see that? We were talking about blinkers earlier and that person totally cut that other person off without using the oh, blinker. Now speed up and cut them off. I'm just playing. That, that, that has nothing to do with us. That's their problem. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, but um, so we're in the rental now. I wanted to like film. This is why I wanted you to pick me up at my house, so I can film the rental and like take a picture with me post up like that. What? I don't want them to know what vehicle we're driving anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it drives pretty smooth though. It's very. And I'm only, I'm not even on sports right now. Look what it's doing. And I'm like, yeah. oh. We should probably put gas for these. They I didn't put on glass? On. Gas. <laughs> they, they did put on the glass, I hope you know. <laughs> um, Damn, it's hot right, in here. Let me let them know. I'm hungry, I might, I might as well have a sandwich now. Already, I had to force myself to poop. What? Yeah. You know how you take your dog out, you be like, come on, poop, man. Like, that's, that's how, how you work? My, yeah, I'm like, come on, boy, poop. Oh Don't want to start off the road and you already have to poop, you know? You're supposed to wait, you fucking idiot. It's, it had to be a quad. This is Lake Worth. Full of quads. Wow, only 82 miles. What year is this? It's 2019. We're driving a car of the year. Wow, it's not even what I asked for. They said it. They were setting me up. I was black. <laughs> open. Say that again for the people back home. Wait, what? They said it me up because I'm black? Yes. Yeah. They prayed over downfall. <laughs> okay, everybody. We are at our first stop. Not really our first stop because I had to go return my paper. But yeah, we're at our first stop at a gas station and I need to use the bathroom. So I'm gonna go and I'll be back here without Corey and I'm gonna have to take the wheel. I'll make up any reason to make you mine if you stay in the lead. So why keep pretending? Open your eyes. I can be what you need. I know you're not sleeping on big time, right? Dang man, you can't see shit down there. You know why? Cause we're in Alabama. Dog. We're in a tunnel. Well, it's got my ears plugged. Really? I can't feel mine's. I can't feel mine's getting plugged at least. <laughs> I was like, I gotta wake you up. But I saw that, I was like, I know he never sees <laughs> uh. So there it is. We made it to Louisiana. It is 2.25 in the morning. Look at this place. Al Gore's way over there. That looks like a preschool. Damn, I wish, I wish, um, hey yo, we gotta take a picture of this when we come back. Oh, it's dark. Wow, look at this place. This is pretty cool. You lost, boy? I'm so confused here. 
I doubt it's gonna be this way. But let's explore. No, I doubt it's this way too. Well, ready to be charged for the We're about to go to. Maybe it's past the women's. Yeah, we are in Louisiana. It's like swampy oh, and, and shit. And mosquitoes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I told you if we had to go past it. Maybe there's another men. Oh, wait, no, that's like a unisex. Damn, it's cold. What's up everybody? So we finally made it to Texas. We still got three hours and 25 minutes to go. And it's raining if you can't hear. I didn't think I'd see this, this type of weather. I was really tired at like five something close to six. So I had to sleep and let Al Gore, Al Gore show yourself. And let Al Gore take over for a bit while I rest. And you know what this man did? When I was in deep sleep, I'm talking deep sleep, that I didn't realize I was sleeping in a car. He wants to wake me up and be all like, Danny, yeah, look, the bridge. The bridge, but he wakes, it was but a nice he, bridge. But he wakes me up while we're already halfway <laughs> on the bridge. Because I was debating on, would Andy want to look at the bridge or not? <laughs> And by the time I saw the beautiful sightseeing, I'm like, oh, he would love to see the bridge. And so I woke him up, like, look at the bridge. Yeah. yeah. But when I was tired driving, I thought the caffeine would help because I slept while Algori was driving his ship. I slept a good amount of time, but I guess it wasn't enough because, like, I felt like my energy to stay awake was fighting my sleepiness and it was like a pretty even fight but I needed I need I needed to go to sleep like I couldn't I couldn't trust myself I think we made the right call do you think yeah. so oh yeah if you tune in my channel um yet accomplish that but hopefully once we get to our destination I will be the first day and brush my teeth and he said, shower he said he doesn't want to put any stops because it's not that I don't want to it's, it's like I can like there's something with I don't know I don't know what's going on all right so we're in Texas I'm driving. We got three hours and 20 minutes left. I'll let oh, you guys there's know. lightning too? You saw a lightning? Yeah, you didn't see the lightning? Yeah. I'll let you guys, I'll, I'll, I I'll let you guys know when we get there. You might have to buy an umbrella. Look at this. Can you guys see how bad it is? You probably can't see the raindrops, but just look at the clouds. God. We're just going through the open road with closed skies. All right, guys, so we made it to our Airbnb. Bathroom. This is a pretty small bathroom, but we can work with what we got. It's got editing there. This is the heater that only heats like around it. We settled down in the kitchen. And this is where we will be staying. The couch is just going to be where we put our stuff. I'm settling here. Yeah. We got bunk beds. Bathroom. 
Where's the light? I'm gonna be so dumb if, yep, the light for the bathroom. Where's the kitchen? Ooh, bedroom is over here. Nope, that's for the kitchen. Couch. Bed. Bunk beds. Which is like so houses. They have. So is this a house or is this like um, a clubhouse? Like a, um, what's it called? I think it's kind of like a mother in law suite, something like that. You know, it's kind of like another house by itself and it's not really attached to the other house. So that's kind of. But they might just put so much stress in here. Coffee! Bed. Yes! Coffee, coffee machine. This is pretty awesome. Dang, I am freezing cold. Right they have there. tea. Damn, focus. There we go. What? This little thing is causing all this cold air? What the heck? It's on high. That's Temperature maximum cool? Are you serious? For what? Cause yeah, you're right. Let me just turn it off. We'll figure it out later. The sad thing is, there's no TV in here. Uh, does this turn into a bed? I'm not willing to find out. Wait, there's no TV? No. You didn't notice there's no TV? Whoa. Unless it's that thing. No, that's not it. Are you sure? Yeah, this isn't it. This is another freaking... Okay, so I guess we can't go in there. Yeah, I was trying to open it, but I'm about to break it, to be honest. Oh my goodness. You gotta do what I gotta do. Guests. Mm -hmm. Book for guests to sign. Let's see if they have anything in the fridge. Nope, empty. Hey. No, that's the lifer in there. It's nice to see that they're a fan of Goodfellas, even though I've never seen it. I heard it's a great movie, though. Should be able to open it. They gave us towels. Oh, okay, it's not gonna fall. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah, it does look locked. There's no way of unlocking it. Why can't we use this closet? I don't think it's a closet. And I think about it. Oh my god, what are you doing? No, it is a closet. Oh, it has all the cases and stuff like that. I think you could only get it from the other side. What cases? Look at more pillowcases. Oh. Stuff like that. And we only get one, just one bathroom. With no air freshener. Why? <laughs> because I don't want it to stink up. All right, so Al Gori, what's the major problem? The AC is at 90 and it's giving off like a 45 degree Fahrenheit temperature. So I'm, I'm not understanding. What? I mean, I'll, at least we got, oh, at least we got beds.
Now, begs the question. Did you just really say Alicia? <laughs> Like, that doesn't fix it. Wait, they do have a... A freshener? Yeah, that's not it, that's to clean the... Uh, yeah. I mean, at least they have this. Oh yeah, that's it, it good. Have a first aid kit, how sweet. It's cold in this thing. How is it cold? It's not blowing out, it's sucking air. <laughs> it's sucking in cold air. <laughs> All right, so now begs now begs the question: Who gets what bed? Shiloh bus. Let me see how I feel about this before. It's been such a long time since I slept in a bunk bed. Mm. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. <laughs> I could do the top part, it ain't gonna hurt. I don't really move around. If I move around, I roll over. I move a lot. There's always the couch. I don't have a problem. But the thing is, then I want you on this bed. Let me check out, let me check how it is. The wood smells good. Why are you smelling the wood? It smells so good though. Oh my god. What if I was to fall? Whoa. Uh-uh, this wood. Alright, how do I get down? So let's see if I Moment of truth. Pee or some milk. Milk? Really? Yeah, what if I need pee or need some milk? Milk is disgusting. This isn't bad. Shouldn't be. I get to have one pillow that I can grab on my chest. Okay, so you finally brought down everything that was in the car we on un well we're unloading right now and that's all gory stuff he brought a bin he said he doesn't see what the problem is driving in the left I just have a bin I'm he he he's upset because there's no closet yes the closet that we tried to break into earlier apparently I think that's the only closet and I'm telling him, like, what do you need to hang in the closet? My clothes. His t-shirts. T-shirts can easily and go in the drawer. Pants. I have pants too. You know what goes in the drawers? Underwears, tank tops, white tees, socks, boxers. What goes in the closet are your clothes. Yeah. Oh my God. That's how it works. Anyways, where I'm gonna be letting my, where I'm gonna be leaving my clothes is in there, that cabinet drawer, cause I don't really give a shit about shit. Al Gore, I hope you hear that. What? I said I'm just gonna leave my stuff in the cabinet drawer cause I don't give a shit about anything.